Bonjour les amis, aujourd'hui on va parler des verbes CER et JER. Page 41, exercice 12 et 13. Today we're going to talk about um, CER and GER verbs. CER verbs have a rule. If it ends in CER, a verb like lancer has to have a cedille, a C with a little mark under it, instead of the normal C when C is followed by an A or an O. This is because otherwise the sound would have been an undesirable hard C like the one in cat instead of a soft C like the one in ceiling. Because all the other conjugated forms use the soft C linguistic continuity and because it sounds nicer. GER, similarly to CER verbs, verbs that end in GER conjugate differently for all of the times that the G of a GER verb would have been placed directly before an O or an A if conjugated normally. An E is placed directly after the G, and then the usual rest follows. For example, instead of nous mangons, it is nous mangeons. Without the E, the sound is a hard G like G in gold rather than the soft G like the G in Georgia. Je mange, tu manges, il mange, nous mangeons, vous mangez, il, elle mange. You notice here that the E um, has been added after the G in the new form. Similarly, je lance, tu lances, elle lance, nous lançons. You don't have to add the E here because you can change the C, but you can't change the G soft without adding the E. So you don't have to add the E for lançons, but you do have to make a C underneath it. Flouose, il lance. And so any verbs that are like manger or ranger, you add an E after the G if there isn't already one. Commencer and lancer, you change the C to a C with a cédille so that it'll sound like an S and not a K. Au revoir les amis, bonne chance!